everyone. This one's called Rainbow Broken Glass Jello. This is really easy to make. I will put a link in the description box if you want to go check out the original idea. What you're going to need is six different flavors and colors of jello. Take each of the jello packets and put them into an individual plastic container. This is a three ounce or 85 gram package. It's also called jelly, depending on where you live. Then place one cup of boiling water into each container and you're gonna stir that around until the gelatin powder is completely dissolved. Now normally when you make jello, you use two cups of boiling water. In this case, we're only using one cup because we want the jello to be extra firm so that the little cubes we're gonna make will hold their shape. So once everything is stirred up and dissolved, place all the containers into the refrigerator and let them set completely. Once that's done, we need to unmold it. I find the easiest way to do this is to put the small container into a larger container of hot water, let it sit for a few seconds, and then it should come out fairly easily. Just loosen the edges a little bit. And once you allow a little bit of air to get in and around the jello piece, it should just slide right out and then you're gonna cut it into cubes. The size of the cubes is up to you, of course. I did about half inch cubes, I guess. And then what I did is I placed all of the sliced up cubes on a plate and I put this back into the refrigerator to make sure that they stayed chilled. And you're gonna repeat this with the five other colors. Now take a nine by 13 inch baking dish and then you're just going to spread out the different color jello pieces. And what I tried to do is make sure that all the jello pieces were kind of randomly spread out so that every part of the pan had a little bit of each color. So there it all is. Now to bind all this together, we're going to make a separate gelatin mixture. So to two cups of boiling water, I'm adding two envelopes of gelatin. That's two seven gram envelopes or two quarter ounce envelopes of gelatin and then stir it together until blended. And then you're gonna add one can of sweetened condensed milk. The original recipe asks for a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. For some reason around here, all you can find is 300 milliliter cans, which is about 10 ounces. But I used the 10 ounce can and it worked out fine. So if that's all you have, then go ahead and use that and you'll be fine. So stir the sweetened condensed milk into the gelatin and water mixture and pour it over the jello pieces. And then put this in the refrigerator and let it set completely for several hours. Once it's set completely, you can cut it into squares and serve it up. And when you slice in and pull out the pieces, when you look at it on, at, on profile or on the side, you can see all the different colors of cubes of jello in there and it makes for a really cute dessert. It has a very sweet kind of creamy, milky flavor to it. Uh, it's very interesting. Kids will love this because it's something that you can actually eat and kind of play with at the same time because you can try to pick out those uh, colored jello cubes as you go. So why don't you give this one a try? And while you're at it, if you like this rainbow colored food, you can try out the rainbow fudge and the rainbow bread. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up while you're here. It makes me happy. Thank you to everyone for watching.